Yeah. Lots of Scottish flags uh, being waved for Sir Jackie Stewart as he makes his way off the hill. Still rocks the tartan as well, doesn't he? Absolutely. Very, very proud Scott. Uh, Paul Stewart's Tyrrell has not played ball in this, but uh, the Stewart cars heading now to the front of uh, Goodwood House, and I think we are going to have uh, a Jackie Stewart balcony moment very shortly as the Pipers and the band join the celebrations. used to seeing some fantastic scenes at Goodwood. I'm struggling to think of one that's been quite so emotional, even for those of us just watching the TV feed of this. The Stewart family, you've been witnessing Sir Jackie, Paul and Mark Stewart, and Lady Helen Stewart now, uh, being escorted forward 
as we have this balcony moment for her husband. So Jackie Stewart, three times a Formula One world champion, a multiple Grand Prix winner, of course, a wonderful ambassador for not just the sport, but for the safety of the sport. Many people dismissed uh, his uh, efforts initially, but I think the whole sport globally owes him a great debt uh, for how he champion the safety of the sport and how he has made it a safer place for everybody on track and off and 50 years since his first Formula One title in his uh, 80th year so Jackie Stewart being honoured here at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Absolutely wonderful tributes and here out onto the balcony comes Sir Jackie Stewart. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Thank you so much for being here today at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Let's get straight to the point here. This man is an absolute legend and a total record breaker. And we're here today to celebrate the 50th anniversary of his first Formula One World Championship and his 80th birthday. He doesn't look his age though. Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Jackie Stewart. Jackie, Goodwood has played such a, a big role in your life. You were really first spotted here by Ken Terrell. You still hold, along with your great friend Jim Clark, the official lap record at the circuit. Can you think of a better way to celebrate your birthday, the anniversary of your first championship, surrounded by family, friends, and these great fans that have adored you for decades. Well, it's a wonderful privilege to be here, Dario, and particularly with you. He was one of the protégés that came out of Paul Stewart Racing. Um, I've had a wonderful life, blessed. Uh, Helen here has uh, looked after me for 57 years of marriage. Uh, I've got my two sons. Um, I'm looking down here at wonderful cars, the Matra that I won the British Grand Prix, my first ever British Grand Prix with, and the two Tyrrells that both won world championships for me. And that BRM over there is where I've had the lap record uh, at Silverstone and won the Monaco Grand Prix with it. So it, it's a fantastic day, Barrio, for us. And uh, so many friends, racing drivers who are here, uh, Jack Aix is standing right next to Helen right now, and we had a hell of a lot of good races with him. Um, but the whole family of Formula One and the whole family of Goodwood, um, His Grace puts on the best show in the world. There's nothing like it. And the other thing is, Dario, that the British crowd know more about their sport than any other crowd that we see around the world. They're all aficionados, they all love the motorsport, and they all behave so perfectly. So I'm very proud to be here. We're proud to have you here, Jackie. So we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the first World Championship, but the three cars are here, the two Tyrrells and the Matra. It's just you and I talking. Which one's your favorite? Well, the Matra, because I won my first world championship and I won at Monza with it, um, I suppose is the real favorite of the best car to drive. But on the other hand, because of Ken Tyrrell, the, the great Ken Tyrrell, uh, he produced that car down there, that number two car, won the world championship in the very first year that he became a constructor. I don't think that's ever been done before. And he won the World Championship as a constructor, and I won the World Championship as a driver in the very first year of the Tyrrell Ford team. So Ford have a lot to say, and so did Cosworth, of course, but that car's very special in that way, and of course, this one's the last World Championship. So the BRM's the prettiest one, look at that. She's a beautiful little thing. The tap and seat and all that sort of stuff in it. And that was the first time that Formula One seat belts were worn because I went to Indianapolis, you had to wear them by compulsory. And I came, you know, I didn't like them, but when I once got into them, I said, I've got to wear seat belts. So all of these cars that you see down here are very close to my heart. 
So everything you've done in your life, shooting, motor racing, motor racing safety, all your business relationships after you stepped out of the cockpit, Paul Stewart Racing, Stuart Grand Prix, it's quite a list of achievements. But your lovely wife, Helen, has been with you, supporting you every step of the way. And you and she have a, a new battle, which you are attacking in your usual direct, full commitment way with the attention to detail that you've always had. Tell us a bit about that, please. Well, Helen's got dementia, and it's a very bad illness. Uh, one in three people are going to have dementia in the future, unfortunately, and it costs more money to look after a dementia patient than it does for the combined total of cancer and heart disease. So it's a very bad illness to look after. So we started something called Race Against Dementia. And it's a worldwide one, and we've, got, we've now got five young PhDs that are going to be living in a special life. They're all going to be at Red Bull and McLaren to find out how you get problem solving faster than you could ever have in the traditional medical world. So I think it's going to break new ground. We have to do that because uh, the whole world, of course, has this problem. So uh, we all want to try and do as much as we can. Jackie, thank you. <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, you please show your appreciation for this record breaker who we all owe so much to. So Jackie Stewart, Lady Helen, thank you very much.